A huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we are making something that I absolutely adore, rainbow bagels. Now I was inspired when I was in the USA recently. They were making these in New York. It was Scott Rosillo. It's a bagel store in New York. Come up with this fantastic idea. Now around the world we can't often get to try them so I'm going to show you how you can make them at home so there'll be no excuse but just come down here take a look inside. How good does that look? This one's still lovely and warm. You're gonna to wanna to try these. Let's get on and make rainbow bagels. Now I've said before, when you're making bread, it's about weighing your produce. With bagels, it's particularly important because we're looking for a certain texture. Now cups just won't do. So if you can use scales, get the weight exactly right and you'll have the perfect bagels. The only thing I'm gonna use the cup for for the flour is getting it from the bag into my bowl. Now I'm gonna start off with 900 grams, that's about two pounds of strong bread flour into our mixing bowl. And then we're going to add to that two and a half cups, that's 625 milliliters of warm water. Now with my last half a cup, I'm just gonna put most of it in. I'm gonna keep a little bit back so I can adjust the texture of the dough. Next, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt and I'm gonna pop those on the opposite side to where I'm going to add my yeast. So over this side, I'm gonna put four teaspoons of instant yeast. Now just put that onto my stand mixer. If you wanna do this by hand or you've got a bread machine to do the mixing for you, go ahead. I'm not doing a full mix now. I'm just gonna to start to combine this together and start to look at the texture of my dough. So I've just mixed that for about three or four minutes. Come and have a look at this dough. It's not fully mixed yet, but it is just a tiny bit sticky, not too sticky. I want to be able to uh, touch this dough without it sticking to my hands, but it also mustn't be too stiff. Now, importantly, we're going to have to divide this up into six colors for our rainbows. So here again, a pair of scales are really useful. I'm just gonna pop that on there. One, four, three, zero, divide that by six. It's gonna give you around about 238, 240 grams. So I'll cut my dough in half first, and then into about third. So we're looking for, well you look at that, 236, tiny bit out. I won't worry too much about that. Let's take another one, 239, perfectly fine. Now it's important we cover these with a damp cloth whilst we work with this piece. Now I've got my colors here and these are gel colorings. You do want to use these, they're fairly strong and I'm going with a lemon yellow here. I'm starting with the light colors, I'm not going in the order of the rainbow, but the light colors, I'm going to pop for the yellow three pea size little bits of gel coloring onto my dough like that and then just pull up the sides and cover this in now if you start mixing this with your hands, you're gonna get very mucky. So I'm just gonna pop this back into the mixer just for a minute or so to get the colors to start to mix in. So we've started to get the yellow mixed in, but you can see it's mainly on the outside. So now is the time for you to do some proper dough making. We just want to stretch. If you look here, we're just gonna keep stretching this out and I want that color to be perfectly even. So now we've got this lovely smooth and even yellow texture. I just want to take a bowl, pop this in the bowl, and then you just want to cover this over, trap the moisture in there, and we're gonna set this aside somewhere nice and warm until it's at least doubled in size. So I'm just gonna take another piece of dough from under the cover, and this time we're gonna go with the orange. Now the orange is a little stronger, so I'm just bringing a couple of pea-sized pieces onto the dough. I'm gonna cover this over. So I'm just gonna start this off in the mixer and again finish it by hand, and then I'll get on and do the rest of the colors. And now the fun begins. Just come and take a look at these. They've risen beautifully. Now it's important you pay attention to the way we assemble these bagels. I've got a pot or a pan in the background here with a couple of inches of water. We're gonna be boiling the bagels in there when they're constructed. First of all, let's take our red. And I'm going to just ease this out of the bowl onto our counter, and we're just going to knock the air out of it. Now, I'm just going to take a rolling pin and I want to roll this dough out into a long shape. The gluten has built up nicely in the dough, so you're gonna to have to gently ease this out. Sometimes you'll need to just stretch it, let it rest, and I want you to get the corners as oblong as possible. We're probably looking for about 12 inches or so. Then I'm just going to take a mat, lay that on there, 
and it's important that we cover this over whilst we work with the next piece of dough. The next color I want is the orange. Again, just uncover it, knock the air out of it and start to shape it. We want it to be the same size as the piece of red dough. So I'll uncover my red. I've got this little handy dandy sprayer here. I'm just gonna mist over the red with some water. So we're just going to ease the orange on there and just take that moment to line those doughs up as best as you can. Cover that over with your damp cloth and we're on to the yellow. So we've got our beautiful layers of dough there. Now that doesn't have to sit there that long, but I'm gonna show you how to twist them. Don't forget, you've got a water pot here with a couple of inches of water, a couple of teaspoons of salt. I want it seasoned, no sugar. We don't want the bagels to brown. The dough is stacked about two inches high. I'm going to take a knife and again, about two inches across, so I've got a fairly thick square here. I'm just going to drag the knife, good sharp knife by the way, drag it through our dough, cover the other piece up with the damp cloth. Now, what I'm going to do here is twist the dough around a little bit, just to get a cylindrical sort of shape. So we've got a fairly thick sausage here. What you do is grab the dough, pull it around your hand like so, pinch it into the center, and where they come together, just pinch that off. Take it and just roll it, not too hard. We don't want to thin the dough out. Pull that off your hand and pop that down on a silpat. I've got this other piece of dough here. Just give it a little bit of a twist. Pull that round, snap it in. It's a big bagel, we want a big bagel. Give it a little roll like that, pop it down on the mat. We're gonna slice off another inch and a half, two inches of bagel dough. Now this is really starting to look great. Again, we're just going to twist this around a little bit. Take our bagel dough, wrap it around your hand, give it a pinch, little roll, and pop that one down with the other ones. Just cover it with a damp towel. Now just take a photograph of these to go out on my Instagram. If you're following me there or on Facebook, you'll see these ahead of time. Now my water has come up to a nice simmer. It's just bubbling away. We can turn the heat down, but I still want it to keep simmering because now we have to take these bagels and sort of pre-cook them. It's only 30 seconds either side. We're gonna flip them over halfway through and that's gonna form that beautiful skin on the bagel, the chewy skin that we really want and which is great in any bagel. And while they boil, let's heat our oven up to 190 C or 375 Fahrenheit. And your bagels should be floating just like that. So the water has to be deep enough for them to float. And now I'm just going to turn them over. Just flip them over and do the other side. 30 seconds on each side. And then we're just going to pop them onto a rack to drain. Now you'll see after about a minute or so, they drip dry and I'm just popping them onto a baking tray. And we are going to bake these for 20 minutes. And I know I'll be asked, this for me has made eight pretty big bagels. I like the big bagels, but you could make slightly smaller ones, eight to 10, I would say. Now they're ready to come out of the oven. Will you just take a look? How good do they look? Now that big daddy at the end there, that one is for me. And we're just going to let them cool off. So there you are, rainbow bagels. Now, wherever you are in the world, you've no excuse not to give them a try. These are heaps of fun. A great thanks to Scott for the inspiration. Uh, I'll leave you to share any pictures with me on social media if you give this a go and comment down below. Be good and I'll see you in the next video. It's been heaps of fun making these on the channel today. I'm gonna to leave a link up here to my rainbow playlist and probably another playlist. I am gonna make fun feta cheese, fill this thing up and enjoy. Thank you.